hi guys in this video i'll be looking at the solutions to question number three for biology paper two for internal candidates for 2020 biology paper question three figure three shows stages in the life cycle of a housefly so we have stage s which is the adult stage p which are the eggs we have q which is the larva stage r which is the pupa uh, the questions are as follows part a identify the stages p and r so p as well as r so p these are the eggs r that is the pupa Next part, B, uh, one, which stage is useful in the decomposition of matter? So this is done by the lava stage, which we refer to as the maggots. Uh, next part, which stage is involved in the spread of diseases? So it's the adult stage which spreads the diseases, which is part S. Next part, C. State two diseases in which a housefly is a vector. So here we can have corella as well as dysentery. So here, avoid uh, writing uh, diarrhea because diarrhea is simply a symptom and not uh, a disease. So all these uh, diseases here are all characterized by having diarrhea. So it's a type of diarrhea which will then be identified as uh, the disease. Next part, D. Explain how a mosquito is similar to a housefly in terms of one life cycle to spreading of diseases so in terms of the life cycle both are complete metamorphosis so they will all show the four stages of the life cycle they'll have the eggs pupa larva as well as the adult then when you come to spreading of diseases these ones who are both the vectors they are able to transmit disease from one place to another so life cycles, we are saying, they both undergo complete metamorphosis. So uh, next part, uh, in terms of spreading diseases, we've said here, they are both the vectors. Next part, explain one way by which a housefly can lead to the spread of corella. So here what will basically happen is that the housefly will actually sit on uh, fecal matter which is uh, contaminated with the uh, corella bacteria because that is where it will actually want to lay its eggs. Then it will fly and then sit on uncovered food or water and then contaminate it with the, the corella bacteria so that is how it will be working as a vector so these are the solutions to question number three thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like and also leave a comment in the comment section below you can also share this video with your friends and if you've not yet subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any new videos which i upload i'll see you again in the next video bye for now